Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, let's try to troubleshoot together on this Lenovo tablet. Let me show you the model here. Take a look at the back of the computer. Here you should be able to identify the model is MIIX720-12IKB. That is the Lenovo tablet. And the symptoms are the computer turns on but no display on the screen. As you can see that the caps lock light is on, off, on, off. I sense there's a power going through. And at certain angle on this direction, I can see that the LCD screen actually turns on. I can press and hold, the LCD goes off. Turn it back on. I can see that the backlight came on for a second and it goes away. So, one of the things I like to troubleshoot before I take it apart is to insert this uh, Windows 11 OEM. It's a USB bootable device. I stick it in and I can see it start boot right into the USB. I can see that little Windows icon here. And let's find out what's going to do to, to the tablet. The USB light is on, it's flashing. I can see that the circle thing is going around. All right, it boots to this installation screen of the Windows 11. Click next, install. Click next, custom install. Here, I'm not able to see hard drive. It doesn't detect the hard drive. And that is give me an one lead to troubleshoot. It may have been a broken M.2 SSD, a broken hard drive. So let's try to change it out and see if it actually boots. I'm gonna close this. Press and hold the power button till the computer shuts off. Okay, once the computer is off, remove the USB, remove the keyboard. Let's get a Phillips screwdriver. Remove some of the screws here. I'll be using a metal prying too. I just want to go in between. Let me start off at the bottom here. See if I can find any opening to go in between that tablet screen. All right, it looks like I have a little opening here. Okay, at this point, the screen is open up. Do not yank the screen out because I'm sure there are some cables that are still attached to it. It looks like I do see the cables here. Let me turn it around and show it to you gently here on the other side. As you can see that the cable is still attached to the screen. This, um, this flex cable here the little brown flex cable. 
still attached to the screen. So to remove it, um, gently open up that little clipper here. As you can see that the 40 pin connector at the bottom right is where I need to open up that little clipper. The flex cable is taped onto the screen. So you need to uh, gently separate that adhesive tape. Now at the very far left, it is also a flex cable that we need to open up that little clipper and slide that cable to the right to remove it. So the entire LCD screen would just come right off. Okay, let's put that on the side. I believe that the uh, M.2 should be here. Let's take a look. So they got a Phillips screwdriver. Remove that screw. Slide it down. This is a 256 M.2 SSD drive. I'll be installing with a one terabyte M.2 drive. Okay, let's reconnect everything back together and see if we can uh, do a fresh install on the windows and see if it actually turns on and boots to the uh, login screen. So, I know that this may be a bit of a challenge to install. Okay, so the thing have to be flipped in a way like such and make sure you have the clipper to push it back in because the clipper is important to lock and hold down to the um, flex cable Once the screen is inserted back to the computer, next thing is to put the screws and tighten it up.
Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. All right, I do have some kind of uh, message here. More likely I need to install the windows. Yeah, it does look like the, uh, the computer is telling me I should install the windows. And again, the M.2 SSD that I replaced earlier, they had some kind of information on it meaning that um, it's not a brand new M.2 drive, it was pulled from a different computer. Um, I just wanted to see if it sees the, uh, the uh, hard drive. Yep, it does. Right here, it shows that the hard drive is seen. You can see that it's right there. We have eight gigs of memory. This is Intel i7. So it's looking good. What I need to do is fresh install the uh, OS. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the uh, Sand Cruz first. Mm, not sure how to move it up. Let's restart. Hopefully, it picks it up from the uh, uh, from the uh, USB. I wonder if it's F12, give me a boot menu and I'll install the... Alright, so I do see the boot menu and let's go ahead and click on the USB Send Disk Cruiser. That is where the Windows 11 is installed, pre-installed um, on the boot bootable. So now I just have to fresh install Windows and that should be it. So this video I think it's pretty much wrap up that the hard drive is bad. Uh, it's not booting to the Windows, replaced with the M.2 drive. Now I'll be installing Windows 11 and I think that should solve the, the problem. Okay, so again, thanks for watching. If you do find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And always, thanks for watching. Take care and bye now.